the Gainesville Regional with host Florida, the number two overall seed, joined by Florida A&M as the four seed, Texas Tech as the three, and UConn as the two seed. Overall, it seems like a pretty decent regional. I think Texas Tech as a three is a pretty difficult three seed, and UConn was on the fringe of being host for a while there and just uh, fell out pretty recently. So I think Florida having those two teams in their regional is relatively difficult, but I think the talent overall for Florida just completely eclipses all the other teams. Yeah, Florida has absolutely looked like one of the best teams in the country as of late. Headlined by Jack Caglioni, who many are calling the Shohei Otani of college baseball. Uh, this team's 21-12 and 12 against Q1 teams, and... It's just a powerhouse with quality wins across the board. And then, like you said, Texas Tech is a pretty dangerous three seed, might be the most dangerous three in this tournament, I think. Uh, They never really had the RPI this year, but stayed in the rankings quite a bit of the season and just a really talented squad for a three seed. I think there's a good chance Texas Tech makes it past UConn into the regional final here, just from a talent side of things. But in the end, I think Florida finally makes it out of their own regional after two years straight before this of hosting and getting bounced before supers. Yeah. You just kind of have to go with Florida here with just what their resume looks like overall. They've been just so good, especially recently their team has been very hot and yeah, the talent level that they have at Florida is always really good, but this year, especially so it just seems like they have, they have a really good squad there. So it's hard to choose anybody but Florida coming out of this regional.